Previously on Hero King Quest, we found ourselves in the shoes of the Dark Realms Master Assassin Spider Venom, who intends to seize the throne from her corrupt sister and fight back against the Cerulean Empire. To accomplish this, she must perform favors for all the groups that her sister marginalized and earned their trust. There's a flame spirit. Ah! Oh no! A salamander unit too! If they're greater, doesn't that mean they're all immune to... Uh, physical? Yeah, the greater ones are supposed to be immune to physical, so I'm just gonna... use water arrow right now. But wait, would I even be able to... Oh shoot, but if they're also fired, how the heck do I deal... Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know what they'd be weak to. Okay, they can actually be hit by water, uh, uh, by physicals after all. It was just the wind ones that were immune. That was a lot of gold. Got 70 gold. Gold. Okay, let's keep going. Run. That's a dead end. And that's a boss. Salamander unit, giant salamander unit. Ugh. I'm guessing they're all fire types, so I can't really tell. Eliminate the weaker ones. Yeah, we're taking reduced fire damage, so that should help a bit. Okay. Let's lower their magic damage a bit. Counter attack. Ah, it was no good. Because it's a magic type attack, it, they cannot counter it. Corpse explosion won't do as much damage because we're using uh, the, the fire protection, huh? Well, wow, our physical attacks don't do much. How many shrouds do you suppose could be made from this thing's lever? But must it be made into shrouds? Of course, the path we take is through heaps of corpses and oceans of blood. Gah, golden knights. Coordinates of the tribe. How tough are the knights out here anyways? Hero unit. They're not playing around, are they? Hmm, 
not, not a bad amount of gold. Almost makes up for what I spent to beat them. This is there's a dueling grounds to the north. Dueling grounds? Does that mean we have to fight the chief? Hold it, web creeper. You got a mark of the nil box on ya? Yeah, yes, and I know your chief. Get in. He didn't check when I walked past him. Weird. The Dark Lord's all bark and no bite. Who she to order us around? The Dark Lord and her royal guards are so skinny, I bet you they couldn't even hold a lockpick. If you can't kick an enemy's ass, we goblinoids will look down on ya. Hmm, I see they managed to kill a hero unit. Okay, they have some new stuff. Really expensive. Better just grab a set from the uh, uh, from this traveling merchant. Pebble the Peddler. Compared to those priests in our empire, I reckon I'm pretty open-minded. At least when I see a witch playing with corpses or a busty dark elf over cleavage exposed, I don't look on them with disdain, much less burn them as the priests do. But I've got to say, I can't, I really can't stomach the way you do funerals. I mean, ripping out the heart from the dead, eating it, and then dumping the body into the wilderness for the beasts. Oh, do humans not bury their corpses in the wilderness, leaving them to be eaten by worms? What be if the difference? Hmm. Is this the same? Oh, that, that, t that used up a lot of money. The mighty rule, that's the way of the orcs. A hero came all alone, if you can believe it, and said, Let me duel the orc chief. If the Dark Lord's unhappy with us, come silence us with a show of strength, I say. She only pulls cheap tricks that robs us of our rights, and that's not what a Dark Lord's supposed to do. Tis the rebellion instigated a century ago that fueled up the Dark Lord's hatred of the goblinoids. Indeed, for Dark Elf, there be of no difference between a century ago and yesterday. However, unlike the Dark Lord, I'm not the kind of Dark Elf who remains fixated on the past. Several assassin members have infiltrated the land of heroes. Word has it they have our own crown princess in the Inquisitor's Tower of the Hero King's Castle. Defeated by a warrior as strong as you, I die with no regrets. My rival, what's her name? My name is River. <laughs> the chief dug out the heart of the hero, holding it with closed eyes in silent prayer. Rest in peace. <laughs> then he gnawed the heart, swallowing it bite by bite. We still haven't eaten the prince's heart. Oh, River, my enemy and my and friend, be with me forever. Hey, you. Sir? Bury his body elaborately the way you humans do. Yes, sir. Buried with these mounds of sand. I'm guessing it's, I'll have to duel him or maybe do a job for him. My lady, how fair of your mother. She drank the potion you gave her and she's doing much better. I heard from the Yard Chiefs you're getting Goblin Noise to join you to unite the Dark Ones and crush the army of heroes. So, I got this uh, Mark of the Orcs ready for you. But right now my Orcs ain't happy with the Dark Realm. They don't want to join hands with Dark Elves. Not to satisfy the Dark Realm, but with Dark, uh, the Dark Lord, you mean. I wasn't going to be that blunt about it, but okay. When the problem standeth in the way, one taketh care of it. When taking care of the problem uh, proves infeasible, one taketh care of who caused the, the problem. I can drag my sister from her throne. Will the orcs... Uh, will find orcs be satisfied then? Dragged her what? Shh. Us orcs speak with our fists and know nothing about politics. Then who will be... Uh, uh, be if the lord? You, my lady? Ahem. Has Sal forgotten our crown princess? Yeah, except she, we don't have her yet. 
The Crown Princess be of the rightful successor to the throne. I intend to rescue her, place her on the throne, and oversee her affairs for many moons to come. A puppet ruler, eh? Oh, I don't get it. Basically, she means to make a puppet out of the Crown Princess. Oh, a puppet, eh? Shh. Compared to the other chiefs, you're a bit too, shall we say, upfront. Ha, ah, funny thing, that's exactly how the others praised me too. In short, I shall provide a new Dark Lord to convince fine orcs. Dost thou understand? My lady, when when have we ever not been convinced by one of your decisions? Note 3. Put a new Dark Lord on the front to get acknowledged by the Orc Chief. Uh... Wee's Captain! Oh shit, what happened now? The Hero King have dispatched a special envoy. The Inquisitor General of the Grand Cerulean Temple. He did speak with the Dark Lord, and then she gave the command. To summon your highness back to the capital. Ah oh, shit, they're probably, she's probably gonna have you executed. That doesn't sound good. Don't go, my lady. And the Dark Lord declared that if our captain defy to command, she will execute the assassin members. One for each day, until she purges every one of us. Hmm. She's threatening to kill your subordinates, huh? Then she must plan on eliminating you. That's fucking dirty, that is. Oh, Dark Mirror, how could such foolishness come to be? Do my sister think the population of Dark Elves is enough to, on its own? We hesitate not in sacrificing ourselves. We bid you flee, Captain. What are you going to do, Webs? Does someone think I can sacrifice my subordinates with such ease when they have stuck by my side through thick and thin? We dare not allow our captain to perish such that we may be saved. Perish? Hmm. If I should die, I was simply not worthy of being followed. I thought she was going to do something like fake her death. Does someone think I am a worthy leader? Without a doubt. Doth it not stand to reason then that I should not die? Indeed, Captain. Hey, you should never you never failed to interest me, Webs. Let me go with you, my lady. Are you gonna join a party? No need. Thou shalt send word to the two other chiefs and tell them fuss. The time have come to gather five goblinoids. Three hundred experience. Oh boy. So they're all gonna show up at uh, to back they're all gonna back us up against the Dark Lord, huh? But what if the hero army takes advantage of the uh, of our conflict or the civil war and strikes us all down let me go with you milady okay there's repeating dialogue now hmm am i ready Oh boy, this is gonna be a fight, is it? Oh crap, we auto save. That's not good. I better heal then. I know this is gonna be a real tough fight. We expected Fee to return. So this female dark elf is the one who stabbed our prince. Indeed, all responsibility lies with this miscreant. Oh? Surely you don't intend to hand over to Prince Slayer and leave it at that. I thought your majesty meant to show some sincerity. As your majesty must know, our creation myth states that the free peacemaker placed upon the giant's uh, the seal and the four directions to the four grand temples. Clearly the gr great uh, grand dark temple is among them. Considered sacred by the believers of the uh, light a thousand years ago. For a millennium, humankind has sought to recover that which is rightly ours. If if I see the grand, the grand Dark Temple, our two lands can re reconcile. See the Grand Dark Temple? Your Majesty, that's the place of the Dark Mother's eternal rest. We, we are aware of the consequences. And what would the witches and warlocks living around the Grand Temple do? Oh, don't you worry. You'll all be extradited to our kingdom and sentenced to burn by the Believers of the Light. Of course, how typically human. Which you forget you're human too. I'm a Dark One, unlike you. Unfortunately, the Dark One on the front acts more like a human than one of us. We agree to fight terms for coexistence and co-prosperity between humankind and the Dark Ones. Coexistence and co-prosperity? Nay, tis for your own prosperity that you sell our realm. 
Any who wish to reach our capital must pass through the area of the dark, Grand Dark Temple and Witch Coven. Seeing the temple would mean allowing all to enter the realm at will, and that condemneth the Dark Ones to extinction. Silence, wretch. Relinquish the Grand Dark Temple, and we give our word that our kingdom will, ask, that will not ask for more. And what became of the wood elves who believed in such words? Slaughtered, and no more. The prince later speaks too much for her own good. Sister, dost thou not uh, yet understand my position? Twas fine hand that slew the prince, tis by duty to quell the wrath of the land of heroes. With this sword, die by fine own hand in the presence of the Inquisitor General. We want her to commit pseudo-coup. Tis only by our lenience that thou shalt not be slaughtered for all to see. Oops, all that was expected has come to pass. Now, will Saul retrieve the sword for me? Prince. No, wait, no, it can't be! Your Royal Highness! Tis a funny thing. That I be afforded such dignity and death. When that of the hero, Prince, hath been desecrated so. Thou art so gracious to admit that my life has have more worth. They're trying to provoke him into fighting you, huh? You despicable web creeper! Queen of the Dark Realm, allow us to drag this fiend back to our kingdom to be tried to do severity. So be it, she hath brought this upon herself. You'll be hanged, drawn, quartered, and then burned to the dust, vile wretch. Why did you provoke the Inquisitor General like that? To afford us some time. In any case, we must get to the land of heroes. You know, being with you means constantly flooring of death. I love it. Lost the coordinates in your possession? The undead prince unit left your army? Shoot, was there anything else I could have explored? I better reload th the game and see what happens. Spiderweb and Sanguine were taken to the land of heroes by the Inquisitor General, where they were locked up in the dungeons within the castle of the Hero King. The hero prince's body, no longer undead, was also brought back with them. No longer undead? They brought- they turned back to normal? You better watch yourselves, you hear me? And who's gonna be our tank? We're screwed for the rest of the game. I bought the equipment for him for nothing. Why are you putting your finger in your mouth? Erg. Do you spit up that lockpick when you swallow it? Before he brought his hibber. You never told me you had magic tricks up your sleeve. Pick the lock. How can I be captain of the assassins with not a few tricks at my disposal? <laughs> Ack! We shall very shortly hide among the humans to find the whereabouts of our crown princess. That was her plan, to infiltrate the human realm. Cover up that witch's mark on my chest, lest they find Fee to be a dark one. Aye, aye, captain. What about you, my dark elf lady? Human form. Oh, darkness, grant me my power. Propatra regresso. Oh, she's not going back to her archer form. She's going to disguise as a knight. The secret polymorph spell of the Dark Elf Assassins. Figured you might cast that. Tis true magic now, not a trick. Wow, her, even her icon disappeared. Okay, but I'm gonna do some reloading just in case. Wait, this is a dead end? What the heck? Okay, I guess I have no choice but to continue the story and try to infiltrate the human realm. That's why they wanted me to save, because now I'm, this is the tougher part of the game. I only... I don't have a tank anymore. I gotta win with just these two, and I might not have enough healing items for it. I hope there's a shop nearby. Oh, there is a shop. Welcome. I'm Pebble the Peddler. Okay. Huh? What is it? I think I saw you in the Dark Realm. Strange, how could the witch be here? You've got the wrong person. Oh, I got the wrong person. This is a land of heroes, and the current hero king is extremely religious. We all have to be very careful not to be accused of being a witch. Nothing here for me to buy. Okay. We're still using rare tier gear. <laughs> what we like to buy? You don't need anything from this set, do I? They're selling even the old sets, but why? Also, what happened to the set that I had on the prince? I think he, he unequipped it automatically, so now I can put it on, on a new party member if I ever get one. 
A new tank to join my party, perhaps? But who could possibly be as strong a tank as him? Why is there a dark... Uh, mother statue? The Lord said our heroes dragged the statue of the Dark Mother back from the village of the Wood Elves. We should destroy it to make sure everybody knows that the Light Spirit is the best. Book burning? Your Lordship, where are you burning? The grimoires and medical books of the Wood Elves. What, even their medical books? Girl, the cause of all the maladies is punishment from the Light Spirit for not being pious enough. To keep illness away, all you need to, is to read the scripture of the Light. Really, and for that you destroy knowledge from other cultures. Can't change difficulty. May the Light Spirit bless you. Cost a day? Well, no. But it's gonna be harder to grind now that we're uh, uh, stuck in this uh, in the land of heroes. Mom, why do you say dark ones are bad? They're so cruel they eat people's hearts. What? You? When I grow up, I'll kill them all. Hold on, I just realized. I still have the he hero prince's heart. What brave boy you are. I'm so proud. Yeah, I, I still have his heart, so couldn't uh, couldn't I just... Uh, like, how, was, how did he become... Uh, how did they restore him to normal if I have his heart right here? That's so weird. Doesn't that mean he has, like, has two hearts right now? One that's in my possession, and one in his currently living body? I heard a female dark elf goes around sleeping with multiple males. How can I talk to my kids about such depravity? If you can't figure it out, maybe you shouldn't be having kids. The lord of our fiefdom has never has to farm himself, but he takes half our harvest. How's that fair? What you pay your lord is to use his land as needed to fight the Dark Ones. Why would anyone be unhappy with such a dwarfy arrangement? Unless, of course, you're a Dark One. Are you a Dark One? What? No. Are you happy then? Yes, I am. They assume that those who don't conform must be Dark Ones, eh? Well, that's typical human logic for you. You there, little girl. Huh? You should wear clothes that cover your legs if you want to avoid an inquisition. Only females of the Dark One go around tempting men in such a manner. Have you ever seen the Dark Lord? He's a terrible monster with purple skin on the top half and spare legs on the bottom. Back in my prime, I fought him at least 300 times. Which Dark Lord is this that you fought with all the tax you collected? So do I go up or down? Up might lead me towards the king, and I'm not sure I'm ready for him. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. You can actually see the characters from the bottom floor. Uh, I'm scared to go there. Too many of my friends have died in the fight against the Dark Ones. We must fight to the very last man to avenge the Fallen. Huh, so you want more of your friends to die fighting against the Dark Ones. Okay, so this is a throne. His Majesty the Hero King received a revelation from the Light Spirit. The three peacemakers have in fact been reincarnated, one of whom is the Majesty himself. If we don't exterminate the Dark Ones under his rule, when would we? Oh heroes, oh good people! Our son, the Hero Prince, now lies buried outside the castle, ruthlessly and unjustly murdered by the damnable Dark Ones. Wait, he's buried- I thought they restored- I guess they didn't restore him to life. Properly, so- but that means we could necro use necromancy on him again, couldn't we? Get our tank back. Buried outside the castle, so we can find out where he's buried, we can get- we can force him to work for us again. The three peacemakers once rescued, rescued the human world from the clutches of the Dark Ones. Now, after a thousand years, the Dark Ones once again plot to take over this world that the Light Spirit created for humankind. As believers of the Light, should humankind simply stand by and allow such villainy to prevail? No. The people's faith is, in, is vulnerable because Dark Ones occupy the Grand Dark Temple. Our people are forced to live hand to mouth because Dark Ones rob us of the Great Light Spirit's gifts. A scapegoat. Fortunately, the special envoy we sent has lowered the Dark Lord's guard, and the army of heroes we have gathered will set off in three days. We must take down the uh, take the crown princess back quickly and seize the throne in order to mobilize the proper resistance. We shall recover the Grand Dark Temple to its rightful place in the hands of the believers of the light. We shall take the light spirit's gifts back for the sake of humankind. 
We the Peacemaker reincarnate, hereby command you all. Expel the Dark Ones, the invaders from our world. Long live the King, long live the Peacemaker. Glory to the Light Spirit, make our land great again. Great again, huh? As long as the rulers fabricate an outside threat, especially one like the Dark Ones, they can easily divert any discontent their commoners may have. That's the essence of heroism, and the nature of mankind. It was true a thousand years ago, and it's still true after all this time. The last human nature is irredeemable. Free hundred experience! I'm surprised he didn't try to fight us right then and there. I guess he- uh, I guess our disguise was just that good. I didn't think the same trick would work twice on them. Okay, we can go upstairs now, but... Which is the cr What do I have to do first? What if I go here? Will they attack me? I don't think I'm allowed to speak to him right now. I'm probably gonna have to wait for a different opportunity to fight him. For now, I have to probably keep exploring the castle. I don't even know where the right way to go is. Okay, so we're not allowed to leave the castle until we find the princess. Got it. Maybe the princess will be our new tank. The dogs. Are they gonna attack me? You know something? The Dark Lord's daughter actually cries every day. Ha, huh, who knew Web Creepers had tears too? Oh no! You're gonna blow our cover! Dispel Magian! Yup, blow the cover, let's, let's slay them all! Aga! Huh? Time beef of the essence, we must act more or less by force. If we leave no survivors, we shan't risk being found. Sure, I understand forcing our way through, but why do you shed the disguise? Assassination requires special training, beyond the physical capabilities of an average warrior. That makes sense. These hunters are equipped with fire arrows. If we encounter more later, we should protect against fire damage. This information most valuable. It has been a decade since I last saw the girl, yet even now she weepeth like a child. You're the aunt of the crown princess, and even you weren't allowed to see her. I knew she was kept hidden away by the Dark Lord, but I didn't realize things were that extreme. Pitiful child, despised and suspected so by your own birth mother. Yet she never protested, so she hath brought this unto herself. So you behind enemies for a surprise attack to defeat them more easily. Yeah, that's probably a good idea because I am kind of screwed in terms of resources. What? Oh, she turns back if I try to leave. That's a pretty furrow of them. They say the ghastly daughter of the Dark Lord is being held in the Inquisitor's Tower in the castle's north wing. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some healing items just in case I fail to stealth too much. So, where are the enemies? Okay, I'm pretty sure that they're facing the front there. How do these patrols work? Can I save here? Yes, that might be a good idea. What is whip? How am I supposed to sneak up on you when there's these inconveniently placed pillars? That doesn't even make sense. How? What? That's that doesn't seem right. Oh wait. No, I can actually- can I actually sneak around that pillar? Let me see. Hiya! Which? You have taken the enemy away for surprise! That means it's a preemptive strike and I can just whack them. What are arrows? I don't want to spam fire magic all day, though. Oh, it's a single target fire arrow. Strange. Is it not true that beyond that door are Crown Princess life captive? So what if she is? I shall personally carry out the execution I sentenced you to. This is gonna be tough. Alchemist fire.
Does this stack? I think it does. Yeah, it sucks. They're not doing much damage anymore. Yeah, that's the way to go if you just want to cheese them. Still doing a lot of concentrated damage on me. Uh, I'll have to use a healing item. Will you continue using Icing Essence to defend? Good thing we're not fighting a physical type here. This guy has a lot of regen as well. Intimidating shots. He has arrows as well. Hmm. Got him. I won't let you have your way. Oh, Light Spirit, grant me your power. Control Maluna Kempo. Does he have a second form? What is going on? Dark Ones, you'll never open this door now. What? Oh, I hear a voice. It's the Whisper of the Light Spirit. I'm going to go. Into the arms of the Light Spirit, I take it. Enemy Mortalon. Undead priest, huh? What happened? I was meant to... Watch yourself right away slowly as the undead. What a fitting match with that prince of yours. You're gonna be our new tank. Curse you! Die miserable death, you blessed witch! <laughs> Explode Kadavran! You're gonna cause way too much commotion if you do that. Now we, it'll be harder for us to escape. Is this the corpse explosion and how speak his stuff? Wherefore did spell uh, uh, not cast Commandy or another spell of enchantment to command this wretch to dispel the barrier and maintain our stealth? We're about to rescue a captive princess. That calls for fireworks. No, that calls for stealth. There she is. Hope she has some healing spells because I'm wounded. Mother, is that you? I've waited so long for you to come. Princess, I apologize. I'm your aunt Spiderweb. And I pray, Fee. Tell me it was my mother who sent Fee to save me. Your Highness, the Dark Realm is on the brink of destruction. The Dark Lord is too busy defending her throne to care about you. The reason we came to save you is to overthrow her and put you on the throne to save her realm. As long as thou art agreeable and obedient, I shall treat Fee well. But of course... When the heroes kidnapped me, I fought to resist them with a spell of enchantment. But then I fought better of it, seeking to test my mother to see if she would come to mine aid if I were abducted. Alas, she came not and sent no helping hand. I should have known, she have no love for me. Disillusionment is the first step of growing up. Congratulations on realizing your mom doesn't love you. How dare Fee mock me fuss. You care not for uh, me. You care for me not. I, I know I am but upon your conspiracy. Well, well, this girl isn't easy to manipulate. Destroy planet of use fee by grant fee the freedom of choice. Die in this foreign land of no one to mourn fee or come return to our realm and act as a nominal dark lord. Live or die, choose for myself. Webs, we can't let her die unless... You're gonna bring her back as a zombie? How could you know what it be if like to be born into my fate? Under suspicion and put in confinement at your own martyr's hands. If I do as you request, I shall be no better off. I might as well die, at least with some dignity. So be it. As your highness wisheth. Eek! You got the mark of the crown princess. 
This is proof enough that I found the crown princess, but only after she perished, tortured at the hands of inquisitors. What? Fell art of no use to me now. Be gone. What does it all mean? That I may leave? Do not make me say it again. What shall I do now that I am rid of my destiny? Find what fine heart desireth, and make it fine own. Tis how a dark elf should be. I thank thee, Aunt Spiderweb. Ha ha ha. Now the throne shall be rightfully mine if I am to overthrow the Dark Lord. Oh, of course, you wanted to be the Dark Lord all along, instead of having to assist the girl. But who... W yeah, you might have to overthrow her later if she starts rebelling against you. But th now you won't have to g uh, to deal with that. Who would have thought the Crown Princess wasn't interested in the throne and was actually happy to have you banish her? Are you sure about this? Perhaps you should kill her after all. Otherwise she could come back one day to seize her throne. Ha! Huh. I would tire of sitting on a throne that no one coveteth. Alright, if that's what you want. Forge experience. Let us leave the castle of the Hero King and return to our realm. But we don't have our teleporters, so it's gonna be tough. I have, like, no health right now. Mark of the Crown Princess. So now we can just claim she died and let her do her own thing, huh? But where would she go? Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to... Unless she has knows how to disguise herself as a human, she's not going to be accepted in the human kingdoms. I already killed all the guards, so I should be able to just walk right out. Unless the king already caught onto my plan because of that dumb explosion. Yeah, I bet if I had uh, done the explosion uh, before killing all the guards, they would have uh, be they would be impossible to stealth kill. That that's probably how it's gonna work. Oh, but I know there's probably gonna be an army waiting outside the door here, or not? I am totally a human. Okay, so. Can I at least get to the shop? Because I need items. Okay, yes, I can. Okay, so how are we supposed to get back like this? No coordinates. So does that mean we only get coordinates for human towns now? Or do we have to actually kill the Dark Lord? Or No, we have to get back to the front first. Yeah, there's no way we're killing this guy without a tank. Best to escape while we can. Hmm. What? A save point? What's going on? They're, they're already on to us? Dang it. Oh, cemetery area is so liberating. That's where the prince is buried? A grave guard fuss heavily must be that of the hero prince. What? These guys were on our side all along. They were, uh, okay, they were just, uh, 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 they were just keeping the toilet seat warm for us so we can bring this guy back onto our side. Captain, Coven leader. We've been lurking here, waiting for you for a long time. Don't shed your disguises in broad daylight! You noobs! The Dark Lord have been up to more nonsense then. Our captain be of most receptive. She may have to disband the Dark Elf Assassins and repatriate the witches and warlocks. She groveleth before external enemies, yet she imposes harsh measures on her people. How can such a treasonous rat be in existence? You know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Come, we return to our realm. Make haste. As your highness wisheth. But whoever, uh, but whoever is the crown princess? Our captain's quest was to rescue her highness, was it not? Alas, her highness hath passed to, on to eternity, if thou dost understand. Verily I do. Just a moment. Enemy mortal jo- uh, uh, Mortal alone. I have a- Wait, what if this guy's body is trapped with, like, some kind of tracking device? 
in case they knew we would try to revive him again. How about an orgy of meat shields? Aw, oh, shit. What do you think you're doing? I'll kill a lot of you! How dare you desecrate the remains of our prince once more, heathen bitches? Ha! Huh. Bitches, silence them forever! Priest unit emerged, hero unit emerged. Pri Priest, we'll cover for you! We're counting you! Guard us while we prepare to make them burn! With that unit blocking the front line, we can't hit the others! Undead prince, perform a fight charge! Frost that unit back and render them mobile! If they're gonna use fire, I need to use water. Hmm. Charge hero. Damn, it still did a lot of damage. There we go. Arg! Oh, your prince is so strong and hard. This place have many an empty grave, most fit for burying those who die as heroes. When we return once more, it will mean the destruction of the hero kingdom. Oh shoot, they, we don't have our coordinates, do we? I can't go back. This sucks. Now, I don't think I can avoid these guys. Look how narrow the walkway is. I actually have to fight them. And the prince is not getting any EXP from battles, only from events. And I have to make sure to equip them with stuff because they, uh, I lost all their gear. There. I wish they gave us an opportunity to re-equip the prince first before that battle, so he wouldn't uh, be taking so much damage. Hmm. What? That's the elf. That's the elf town. Can this truly be the village of the wood elves? It is no longer a competition for survival between races, but a one-sided slaughter. Humans see fit to commit massacre simply because of difference in race or faith. The only sin the world the wood elves committed was to trust the hero king. You know, the one they call peacemaker. Corpse of a male wood elf with one ear cut off. A sign around his neck reads "knife ear." A warlock dead from choking on smoke. Shoot. The corpse of a male wood elf with the lower half of his body hacked to pieces. A sign around his neck reads, Damn Sissy. Sir, what are we looking for here? Behold how they reduce these books ash. To take the wood elves' lives, to tremble on their dignity. So it's not enough to satiate the humans, they sought to obliterate their very culture. It's surprising they should go so far in perse persecuting a different race. It's the folly of human nature to unite with the familiar to persecute the foreign. Unless that's rooted out, the concept of peace will always be a bad joke. Corpse of a female wood elf, a message she wrote right before she died. Do not let her realm fall into the hands of heroes. Fairweb so dug out the heart of the wood elf and gnawed on it. I, Spiderweb, have inherited the flesh, blood, and spirit of our fellow Wood Elves. 
Before we confront the external enemy, we must deal with the rat within. 400 EXP. Dark web now at level 11. Okay. Oh, they're all here. I knew you'd come back, my lady. I got my kobolds ready. Let's have some fun. How strong is the royal guard? Are we ready? We hereby officially declare that as of this moment in time, the Dark Elf Assassins are disbanded and all in the Witch Coven shall be returned to their human origins. Thou shalt not touch my sword or net. Spiderweb, Fowl should have been burnt to ashes by the Inquisitor General. Twas a pity, the one who was burnt to ashes was the Inquisitor General himself. Spiderweb took out, uh, took out the marker of the Crown Princess. I also found Her Highness the Crown Princess, tortured and near death in the Inquisitor's Tower. Before her last breath, she bid me to protect the Dark Realm in her stead. So we came back just in time to stop you, along with a little gift. Greenhides, how dare ye! If I don't depose of you now, I ain't a goblinoid. Prepare for myself. This day shall be if I last as a Dark Lord. We knew it. We knew foul would usurp our throne. Assassins, eliminate that traitor. The last we have been di just been disbanded by your majesty. So there's nothing left of it but your royal guard. Royal guards! Surrender now and I shall spare your lives. Even your royal guards betrayed you? Damn. Which is warlocks, have you forgotten the favor of our taking you in? Oh, we have. Very much so. Traitors, everyone have betrayed us. All that we uh, be if for the sake uh, all that we do be if for the sake of peace, and peace cometh at a price. How do ye not understand? A lord who knows only how to sacrifice her people be if unworthy to speak of peace. In truth, we betray fee not. Fel art the one who betrays all those in the Dark Realm. Well said, finish the traitor off. How dare ye! Milady! Well not, or her death will be more pitiful than need be. Spiderweb! What? I thought it was gonna be a boss fight! Ack! That kick was for the assassins you so thoughtlessly disbanded. No, no! And that was for the witches and warlocks you ruthlessly cast aside. Please, no more! That one was for the wood elf slaughtered while you stood by. Gah! The blood that flowed from Fee now. Be of trivial compared to the humiliation of the orcs. A joke compared to the hunger of the Nilbogs. And nothing compared to the toil of the kobolds. Wait! For the sake of my own sister, have mercy, I beg of you, spare me my life! You did not extend the same mercy to s uh, Spiderweb, so... Spiderglen, sister of mine! Spiderweb! Do mine ears deceive me? Have the Dark Lord abandoned her honor to beg for her life? What? Oh, my sister! I have mercy in me yet, I shall permit thee! No, we are not yet ready to face death! To die with some shred of dignity! Gah! A heart! And the regalia of the Dark Realm! Drag her out and feed her to this, her spider. As you wish, your majesty. Now we are the Dark Lord. Should there be any dissenters, speak out now. The Dark Sword Azov, it's glowing! Azov only glows for a lord who has the mother's blessing. Your Majesty, the Dark Lord Spiderweb. On behalf of us orcs, I present yet the marker of the orcs. Indeed, we have received it. Spiderweb donned the marker of the orcs in the regalia of the Dark Realm. Hark, all ye Dark Ones! Hear the Dark Lord's command! In the name of the Dark Mother, 
March forth into the land of heroes. A lord who knows only how to sacrifice her people be unworthy to speak of peace. I must laugh, for we do well in playing the part. Now you're the Dark Lord blessed by the Dark Mother, Your Majesty. To, to superfluous acknowledgement. We need not our great-great-grandmother's approval in becoming the Lord. Just look at you, Webbs. Finally the Dark Lord. Stiff. I couldn't be prouder. Like a matriarch seeing a lass in her clan mature into ripe fruit. And I see that fine manner toward us changes not. But no more talk. The army of goblinoids have set out for the castle of the Hero King. We must make haste to catch up with them. Even her sprite has changed. What? It's a sub-weapon, and it's locked here. But it must have good stats, right? It increases all her stats, actually. Does that mean she's dual-wielding? That's- I thought that would be a main weapon rather than a sub-weapon. Huh. Does that affect any of her skills? No, it's still the same. But it did change her class, and probably none of her other stats. Even, uh, yep, changes her walking sprite too. Wait, we have two hearts! The Queen's heart gave more than the hero princes. Huh. What the? Why is she here? I'm honored to meet you, Your Majesty. We went to the Land of Heroes not long ago and heard rumors from the common folk that the three peacemakers have been reincarnated. Does Thrawn know of any such rumors from the Southern Lands? I do. Our monarch, His Majesty King Corundum, has genuine faith in the Light Spirit. So the High Overseer of the Believers of Light holds him in high regard as the reincarnation of one of the Peacemakers, the man in scarlet armor. We're dealing with the Cerulean guy first, right? His Majesty the Emperor Corundum, we see. I also have a twin sister, Cobble. She's a peddler in the Silver Kingdom to the southeast. I hear there's a princess in that kingdom born of silver hair, just like one of the three Peacemakers. Everyone thinks she's that Peacemaker reborn. Which princess be of this? Her Highness the Princess Gloria. Princess Gloria? Oh, uh, is something wrong? There was once a human who broke into my uh, villa and robbed me of one of my elixirs. He needed to save a princess, and I'm pretty sure her name was Gloria. On my name, I swear I'll sell this account. If we seek to destroy the four temples to break the seal on the Dark Mother, those two peacemakers will stand in our way sooner or later. As for Pebble, she will prove useful then. Is there new equipment? Mithril tier! How am I going to afford all that? Oh no. Gonna have to start selling stuff. What's this? Coordinates of the Coven, Mine, Slum, and Tribe. And the capital. Oh, that means we can actually go all the way back to the, the, the uh, to meet the king. Okay, but I need to do something about my uh, about my financial situation first. All right, I think we're prepared. In the name of the light spirit, march into the dark realm. Yeah. Your Majesty, enemy troops have appeared! Why- wait... Why are they pointing to the north? I thought they were at their kingdom. They should be at their front gates, and north is, would be their own castle. Why did we not receive word sooner? Not panic, who is their leader? The Dark Lord. What? But how? Surely the Dark Lord has already been coaxed into submission by our envoy. What is with the flip directions here? Because we seize the throne to become the new Dark Lord. So you have committed both sor uh, sororicide and regicide. That is quite something. 
Not sure of honor or morality. Clearly, a web creeper is nothing more than a web creeper. Do Felmina say that usurpation by pa parasite or fratricide seldom a happeneth in the human world? A front seized by treacherous force can never win the hearts of the people. No wonder this is the extent of your strength, Lee Web Creeper. Ah, you and what army, bug? <laughs> what army? What army? Look around, you crabs! Orcs. No box. Kobolds. Yep, that's the extent of her strength. Wait, what about our, uh, the witches and warlocks? How can this be? Does thou acknowledge reality now, Hero King? Ye humans are not our subjugators, but the subjugated. Your Majesty, please give your command. Dark Ones. Assault. Yeah! Your Majesty, please retreat to the Grand Cerulean Temple. There's a temple here? So be it. The rest of you remain and serve as a rear guard. Yes, Your Majesty. Milady, leave this to us. Go after a Hero King. The temple. We need to go there anyway to unseal the Dark Mother. Our thoughts exactly. But henceforth in public, shall probably address us as Your Majesty, or Chief. Uh... Understood, Your Majesty. See to it that none of you die for Her Majesty orders it so. Understood, Your Majesty. Bypass the castle of the Hero King and march into the Grand Cerulean Temple. Can I actually enter the castle itself to resupply if needed? Oh man. I was hoping they would give me... Uh, they better give me like a, a coordinate here so I, in case I need to retreat and buy more stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough final dungeon. I was expecting the final fight to happen right then and there, but I guess not. So do I get coordinate? Yes or no? I think there is a coordinate right there. So this is the Grand Cerulean Temple, one of the four Grand Temples. If we vanquish this place, we'll be able to weaken the seal on the Dark Mother. Just curious how eager Fowl are to break the seal. What, aren't you eager for that too? Pursuing the Hero King be of the thing we are most eager for at present. The most immediate political concern. Please be the coordinate. Yes, good. Now I have a way uh, uh, back and forth to buy more items if necessary. Looks like it's going to be a really, uh, it's going to be a tough uh, uh, journey up ahead anyways. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Hero King Quest Peacemaker Prologue. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.